Previously, on The Room Actors, where are they now? While Robin rotted in jail, Philip was living in a cardboard box outside a chain restaurant that I will not name because I don't want to be sued. Ruby Tuesdays. Today, we'll take a look at two people who took their reputations as hot room actors and put them to good use. I worked at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory at Caltech, but, you know, let's be honest, a celebrity who's also a rocket scientist? <laughs> No, that's more than most people could handle. So I work at a pet store by day, and I volunteer at a suicide hotline by night. And when the women find out that I played Peter from the room, well, <laughs> I can't fight them off fast enough. <laughs> Don't blame yourself. He sounds like a sociopath. My guess is he can't love anyone. Did I mention I played Peter in the room? <laughs> well, you know, I am wearing a suit. And my parents? They're in awe at how famous I am. Kyle! Why didn't you just come in the back? The gate is open, for God's sakes. No, you gotta make me walk all the way from outside in here to open your door. Well, if you would have answered my text, you would have known that somebody pushed me down the stairs last night, and I have a boot. I don't know who away they were. I was completely stoned. She started toking the giggle smoke uh, the night of the room premiere. Yeah, uh, guess you wanted to celebrate. I mean, it's every parent's dream to see their kids star in a movie, and luckily, her dream came true. Hi. Hi it's about time. I didn't know if you were gonna come or not. Give me a hug. Oh, don't. What? What? what are, why are you wearing a suit to go to work at a pet store? I mean, what is? What is that? It smells fine. No, it doesn't. It smells like it was some kind of parakeet just shit all over you. What the hell? Is that kind of bird in back of you? That's Claire. And she's a huge fan of the room. Oh, the room, of course, yeah. Hey, Claire, where did you two meet? On the suicide hotline? Yeah, I met her at the hotline. <laughs> she, she's such a card. She's always making these murder-suicide jokes. <laughs> she, she cracks me up. <laughs> God, no. Do, you know I don't do that stuff. It's gross. What do you mean it's gross? It's gross. What's so gross about it? What's so gross about it? Oh, really? You know what's gross? What? You! Get out of here! Dare you come in here and tell me what's gross? Get out of here! I can't huh? stand you! You need to die! Do you hear me? You are not my son! Get out of here! God damn it! Die! Hearing in the room? Best freaking decision I have ever made. Chris R., I mean, just to be honest, that's basically me. Hey, how's it going, Nevi? How are you doing? You want your baby? Let me get your baby for you. There you go. I get recognized as Chris R from time to time. I don't mind. It gives me a chance to show off how badass I really am. Yep, I live life in the fast lane. I think it's clear. I am the toughest stay-at-home dad on the block. I mean, sure, things are a little different. <laughs> 13 years changes a lot. I'm a dad now. But at my core, I'm just a mean, tough, take no prisoners mofo. A few years ago, I was not the debonair gentleman you see before you today. I was broke, drunk, homeless, and alone. It was then that I wandered into a dark theater in Hollywood to eat popcorn off the floor. There, I saw the room for the very first time. It massaged me deeply and touched my inner parts. So I told a little person on the street about the room, who told a regular-sized man, who told a really fat woman, who told Paul Rudd. And the rest is history. It all took off from there. I am Room Fan Zero. No, you're not. I'm Room Fan Zero. I'm Michael Rousselet. Help me. He's having Rousselet, no. Yeah, no, no, get him out of here. Oh, please. Get him out. He treats me with spoons. I've told you everything you want Put him back in his cage. Oh, God. I don't know who that was. <coughs> oh, oh, hi, son. Hey, Dad. Uh, how's the suicide hotline going for you? Oh, well, I talked her off the ledge. You know, when she found out that I played Peter from the room, she thought, hey, life must be worth living if only to meet me, Peter from the room, in person. If I were you, I'd go with a noose. It's quick and clean. Now, the knife, you're going to have to stab yourself like uh, four or five times, and then the blood. Now, the strychnine, 
That's a good choice. It's really funny. She does this all the time. But, you know, she's only doing so well because, you know, she got to meet me, Peter from The Room. The man, the legend, Peter from The Room? Yeah, I've got 749 Twitter followers. What do you got, Dad? A girlfriend. Don't tell your mother. How can you do that to mom? Don't Just... sass the girlfriend. <laughs> What is the matter with you, you nuts? Uh, don't be a weenie. We got weenies. You want a weenie? No, Dad, I don't want a weenie. When is the baby due? I'm not pregnant, asshole! Whoa! Sure, it's subtle, but my Gelmo is definitely more threatening than the other dads. Where's my freaking cake, kids? I want my freaking cake! Yeah! 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 Yep, so I still got it. Yeah! Isn't Dan J a sexy beast? I enjoy a little cosplay myself. And Kyle disappeared into the space time vortex where all room, cast, and crew go to shrivel and die. Stay tuned for more of The Room Actors. Where are they now? Oh, hi, doggy. Oh, hi, doggy, doggy. Let's go for a joggy. Bring Mark and we'll play in the sunshine all day. And oh, hey, who threw that football? Let's go throw that football. We'll stand so uncomfortably close and just laugh. Just because. Just because. Cheap, 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 cheapers. Cheap, 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 cheapers. No, no, I, I wasn't trying to escape. I, I, I was just throwing spoon, spoon, uh, uh, spoon. Ah! Oh, God. Oh, 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 why are you changing hands? Oh, 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 God, it's just a movie. It's just a 